No moment in your life is ever wasted, whether good or bad. All the things that have happened in your life, the negative experiences, even the positive ones, and all the circumstances that surround you, they've all served the purpose and the responsibility of shaping you into whom you were designed and created to be by God. Hakuna chinchaka ipa, kana chinchaka naka, chaka itika mupenyu, wako chaka ngu itika kutichikusia wakadaro. But for every single thing that has happened, if you take it with the right spirit and with the right attitude, it is able to take you to the next level in life. Vajinji wedu tunosjins kwa matiri mkatime dukuti, we were not created to be just ordinary, to do small things. We feel it in our hearts that I, I was made for something greater. I was made to achieve big things and not the, 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 the little things we have achieved so far in our lives. But sometimes because of the things we have faced, because of the criticism that we have received from people, because of the neg negative circumstances and the negative situations, maybe you failed school, maybe you, you dropped out of school, or whatever thing may have happened in your life, you now feel disqualified. But what I want you to remind the person who is watching this video is that destiny, the hand of destiny, knows how to pick you from wherever you are and to redirect you to the place that you are supposed to go with your life. Jinaitika mupenyu, kutizungungwa chinzumbocha, ono yata zaoti, dina anshwa na kupinda. Ino kuna ngeri promotion kubasa. When you know that you are the right candidate, you are rightly deserving for that promotion or that position, and then you are left out, you are rejected, and somebody else gets it. But that should not stop you from putting in the work, from being faithful and being consistent at whatever it is that you have been doing. It reminds me of a story in the Bible of a man called David. He was left behind at home looking after the sheep as his brothers had gone to war. But it did not stop David, as anointed as he was, he was still humble, to fulfill the humble duties of just taking food to his brothers every single day. And it so happened that on one of the days, Paanga and Sajkaf, Dopa Aga Sangana Goliath, Ndopu Nzwa Goliath Ashitawar, Aga Kumbira Gurwanae. And we know how the rest of the story ended up. David ended up being a champion. Saka izozo zvaka zvidzika zvaka zvitendera kuti rega endirambe ndichiita hango kunyango vanhu handisiya pana nichifunga kuti ndinokwana hana kuda kuti anharadza kuti aiwanda kazodzwa muri kundisire but he took the duties that he was being given on a daily basis akamazadzi sai wayo sekutarisira kwanga achiitwa and that led him to the platform that elevated him in all of Israel so God can sometimes use the most despised thing, the most despised moments, the most despised expectations and duties that you are assigned or given, knowing that it is what is going to lead you to your highest level of promotion and prominence. So there is no moment in your life that is wasted. You are never too far from your destiny. You are never too despised, too low or too broken to still become the thing that you have been meant to be by God. Saka azuna basa kuti upenyu hwakusvitsa pakadi. Azuna basa kuti vanhu vakurasa kuenda kure kwakaita sei. I want you to know that you can still become the thing that you were designed and created by God to be. You wake up every day and you tell yourself, I am still going to be great. I am still going to achieve the great things that God has in store for me. Don't allow circumstances, don't allow people's words, don't allow society's rejection, don't allow the negative situations and experiences that have happened in your life to tell you that you can't make it. Because you still can. Because your destiny knows how to pluck you from where you are and place you to the place where you belong. Komore Rainash.